Hello, my name is Danielle, and I'm an application engineer in the Materialize USA office. This video will focus on ways to address imaging artifacts due to metal hardware, which can make segmentation difficult. While there is currently no one-click fix to totally remove scatter, there are different techniques to make it easier to manage. The first way to deal with scatter is during image acquisition and reconstruction. Many technological advances have been made over the last few years to reduce artifacts during acquisition. We recommend that you check with your radiologist or scan technician to understand if there are ways to reduce artifact in your images. While reducing scatter at the source is ideal, we understand that this is not always possible. For this reason, the remainder of the video will focus on tips and tricks to manage scatter during segmentation with the Materialize Mimix software. Metal artifacts are typically seen around existing hardware in the patient's body. For example, it could be the result of a hip stem, screws, or dental implants like we see in this CT scan. Notice that the voxels immediately surrounding the dental implant are completely white. This makes segmentation using image intensity nearly impossible. Based on your knowledge of the anatomy or the implant, however, it is still possible to use different editing techniques to obtain a realistic 3D model. We will now cover a few of these techniques to address scatter during segmentation. You may find that you prefer one technique over another, and it is not necessary to apply all techniques to every case. Use your discretion. We'll start with bulk editing in 3D. First, toggle the mask 3D preview. Then, open the Edit Mask tool from the Segments menu. It is possible at this time to crop the mask to the specific region of interest. I'll crop the mask to the area right around the teeth, making it easier to visualize the scatter. Here, I am using the lasso option while editing in 3D, but be aware that other options such as ellipse also exist. Now, rotate the preview in an orientation that makes it easy to identify and remove the scatter. Bulk editing on the 3D preview allows large areas of the mask to be removed. However, it is still difficult to remove scatter that is right near the teeth. These areas require special attention. This leads me to my second editing technique, localized thresholding with edit mask or multiple slice edit, both of which can be found in the segment menu. In either tool, there is a threshold option. Local thresholding makes it possible to edit a mask by only preserving colored pixels that fall within a predefined density or intensity range. For example, if we set a local threshold range of 600 to 3,071 Hounsfield units, all pixels that are lower in density will be erased from the colored mask. Because the enamel on the teeth is higher in density, this range will allow us to remove some of the scatter that has a lower density. Take a look. Even with this technique, you'll notice that areas of scatter immediately around the dental implant are still included. As mentioned before, the reason is because the scatter is very high in density and displays as white. Because there is virtually no distinction between the implant and the scatter, manual editing will need to be done. Use the erase feature with an edit mask or multiple slice edit to carefully remove areas of scatter. 
Again, these tools can be found in the segment menu. Lastly, you can directly edit the contour of your STL with a final technique known as contour editing. This tool is ideal for use in datasets where it is not easy to distinguish an image intensity difference between scatter and the implant or bone that you want to preserve. Contour editing can be found in the 3D tools menu and allows the contours of a 3D model or STL file to be adjusted in real time. Use contour editing to make small refinements to the model in areas where a lot of scatter might have previously existed. Here, I am using the magnet option, but grab and smooth are also available. With the magnet option, you can directly draw on the images and the contour will be updated. Here's how. You can also use the grab feature by dragging the contour to the ideal location. Smooth allows for local smoothing of the contour. As a final note, it is important to verify segmentation accuracy with a physician in cases where the CT scan is being used for patient treatment. I hope this video provides you with some new ideas to tackle scatter in your own data sets. Remember, not all techniques will apply for all data. Pick and choose the ones that make the most sense. Please do not hesitate to contact us at mimics at materialize.be if you have any questions or would like to further discuss how to manage scatter in your own data sets. Thanks for watching.